Welcome, everybody. Uh, we're going to take a little step back here. Uh, Washington, it's uh, 1777. Washington is up in New Jersey. Uh, and I just wanted to cover one little battle that was pretty insignificant, but uh, it did uh, set the tone for some, some future events. So uh, after the British left Boston um, in, uh, in uh, March of uh, 17. 76, uh, General Washington sent General Lee, his second in command, down south because that was another gonna happen kind of place. So uh, the British, in this fascination with trying to win the south and divide the north, uh, they sent um, some troops about 3,000 troops to be specific, and a fleet of about 20 ships under uh, General Clinton was the Army General and uh, Admiral um, uh, Parker was the um, guy in charge of the fleet. And so Clinton, uh, just as a little background, Clinton made in Boston, he made a recommendation to Howe on how to win Boston and how just blew him off, said, go away. So Clinton was feeling kind of bad. So, and he gets sent down to the South. Now they were invited down to the South. Uh, a lot of the governors said, you know, if you show a small force down here, all the loyalists will come out and the people will go to your, your, your uh, side. And, um, and so the, that's what the British did. They sent a, a, you know, Clinton and Parker down here and, uh, the Patriots got wind of it. This is June of 1776. The Patriots got wind of it. And uh, this is Charleston, South Carolina, or as it was said in, in the old times, it was Charlestown as opposed to Charleston. Uh, somewhere along the line, they dropped the W. And so this is the main town right here. On one side, you have the Cooper River. On the other side, you have the Ashley River. And then you have a body of water that comes down here. You have Sullivan Island is here, and this is Long Island. And so the British arrive in the beginning of June, and they, uh, they get some bad information from the local people. And the weather is, is, is not really conducive. Uh, but what happens is... Uh, they decide the water is very shallow here. These little, these little marks right here are uh, sandbars, okay? And the secondary channel is right over in here, and the main channel is right in here. Well, the British fail to realize that this is all shallow water in here, and so they have to lighten the ships and the, the fleet, uh, ship has got a lot of guns. They have to take them all off. So it eats up about two weeks of time. In the meantime, General Clinton takes about 2,700 troops. And there's a fort right here. I forgot to mention. There's a fort right here that the Patriots have, have built. It's called Fort Sullivan, later changed to Fort Moultrie. Uh, and uh, it's basically nothing but piles of sand and palmetto trees which is the state tree of South Carolina, is the palmetto tree. Uh, but it's a soft wood and, and kind of absorbs stuff, and that, that will have an impact. So Clinton says, I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to jump off on Long Island, cross over, and then I'm going to come down this way, and this little fort up here that's not manned very well, a couple hundred guys in it, won't be a big deal. So he, he lands up here on Long Island, well, this little spit of land or water right in here, he was told was going to be 18 inches, so he could just walk across it. It ends up being seven or eight feet because the wind's blowing the water in, the wind's, the wind's blowing this way and this way. So he's confined up here and really can't do too much. And in fact, he can't do anything because he doesn't have, have any boats. So the British... Um, they they start in the secondary channel and they have have a serious problem they can't do that so then they try to go in the primary channel that's still very shallow and a lot of the ships can't get in there but they get some ships in there and then they're in here like this and they just they're 
in a battle with Fort, uh, Fort Moultrie, okay? And three of them run aground on this sandbar. They managed to get two of them off. The cannon fire from Fort Moultrie is, uh, it's just unbelievable. The Patriots are just letting them have it. There's no place to maneuver the, these big ships in here because of all the sandbars that are in here. And so uh, Fort Moultrie and the ships just go back and forth. Two of the ships get off the sandbar and they retreat out. And so it goes on um, on June 26th. They have this fight and General Lee is there. He's got about 1,200 guys. There's a colonel from the uh, uh, South Carolina uh, militia by the name of Moultrie, which is the fort was later named for him. And so there's real question as to who's in charge here. Is it General Lee, who tends not to get involved in anything, or is it this Colonel Moultrie? And some historians say Moultrie was really the guy behind it. So there's this battle going back and forth, and they're just showing each other. Uh, and it, it lasts all day long. Um, the, the, the one, there's a couple significant things, you know, to this that we'll throw out. Is that uh, the South, Carol, South Carolina flag is, is uh, kind of, this Colonel Moultrie designed his own flag the day of the battle. And it's a blue flag with a crescent moon on it, and it says Liberty in it. And this was standing above uh, on a pole, and it got shot down. One of the sergeants runs up, grabs it in this heroic thing. You see it in the movies all the time. Runs up, stands on top of the thing, plants the flag, rallies the troops because they're all kind of hiding and stuff because they're getting bombarded. And so anyway, it ends up being a standstill. The British leave because they realize they're never going to get in here, although it was reported that the town of Charleston itself was not well protected. So they leave. This is 1776. They're not going to return until 1779, three years before they return to Charleston. Now, General Lee, he goes back north uh, and helps Washington. You got to remember, Washington is in New York now preparing for a big battle there. OK, and so he, he goes up. Now, General Clinton, he just got himself handed another loss. He lost in Boston, and now he's lost in South Carolina. And he can't figure out why people won't listen to him, because he's a great strategist. He, he can design battle plans greatly. So you remember that he was the, the strategist in the, the Battle of New York, uh, Brooklyn Heights. It was his plan. So on the way back to New York, he, he figures out he needs a mouthpiece. He needs somebody to speak for him because General Howe just won't listen to General Clinton. So he, he um, when he goes back to New York, he uh, encourages a, a fellow general by the name of Erskine to take this plan for him to General Howe, which was the plan that they used for the invasion of uh, New York. And so Clinton... Um, figured that out and uses that in, in future battles. When he needs to present something, he gets somebody else to do it for him. Um, but anyway, the British, you got to think now, what are the British? Uh, the British just got hand, handed uh, a big defeat in Boston. Now they, they have a defeat here in Charleston. They got to wonder if they're really up against a ragtag army or whether this army can beat them. So that was Charleston, June 1776. Just didn't want to forget it uh, because we kind of skipped over it a little bit there. So uh, next couple of days, we'll get back to 1777. Got any questions on this battle? Just let me know. Bye.